Welcome to our first edition for this year, 2019, of Inside Tulsa Athletics. We have all eight of our high school football coaches here, and we'll be talking about their season and the All City Preview, the 77th Annual. Well, welcome to Inside Tulsa Athletics. We're excited this year. Our very first guest uh, on our show this year is the head football coach at McLean High School, Willie Ponder. Willie, welcome to the show and welcome to 2019 football. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We're Glad excited about coach. this yeah. year. I think it's going to be a great year. Uh, let's talk about McLean football. You, you had a great spring practice. Mm -hmm. How did that go and how does that lead into your summer program and then your preseason? Um, well, going into year two, um, Great spring, and the big thing for me was, I think I, you know, won't have no six wickers. So, um, to me, that's a success for spring, you bet. Um, because you know, second semester usually kids do tend to fall off of grades, mm -hmm. and I think uh, the big thing I was telling them, we won't have are my core guys. They're not six wickers. I know last year going into my first year, I had six wickers, and they're all senior DBs that yeah. I had. We're pretty good, but it was just, but. Good thing is, my deal was no six wickers. Good, good um, spring academic. From an academic standpoint, yeah, that academic. is fantastic, yes. and that, a lot of people may not know what six wickers oh. are. But there's those kids that do not matriculate in the second semester, and then they have to sit out the first six weeks of the season, mm -hmm. and that makes it tough when you're when you're trying to put a team together and yes. you got these guys out there. So. Uh, I, I salute you for that. that you. Uh, because that's why we're here. Yes. These mm -hmm. kids need to get an education and yes. move on with their life. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so you don't have that and you're mm -hmm. going into, into your fall practice now. Yep. H how's that going? Uh, the kids are excited. And, you know, I'm glad that they're excited. Um, going to year two, they're buying in. The buy-in, I'm seeing the buy-in from, again, that group of core kids that I have. Um, and they're excited to play. They're excited to have uh, host all city at our place. Um, they have confidence. I see um, certain guys becoming leaders. Mm -hmm. You know, usually they wouldn't say nothing. But it, and the good thing is, it's my younger guys. He's not a senior. They're, yeah. they're my 11th graders. That's like, come on, we, come on, getting on the phone, calling guys, come up and work out. You know, and stuff like that. So it's, uh, I'm seeing the change, and is I'm, I'm very excited. That's great. You know, uh, this is kind of a residual effect, but. Uh, that great new field house you have on campus, has that carried over into the enthusiasm of your team and your, the, the, just the student body? Yes, and you know, football guys, you know, man, I can't wait to go in there and see it. Coach, have you went in and seen it? And I was like, yeah, you're gonna like it. The floor is, I mean, the floor is beautiful. Yeah. That's just the one thing I would say, but um, they're excited about it. And they're like, coach, are we gonna have our pregame meals in there? Are we gonna be able to go in there? You know, and I said, yes, it's, um, Big time, and then Absolutely. I happened to be going by. It was it was dark, and I was you know late out uh, office hours, and I seen it, it was lit up, and that thing's nice. Oh, I yeah. you know from the outside, and I know the people on that side of the, the north side community, they're excited about it. Mm -hmm. Early on, I know you know talking to people in the community, like okay, when is it gonna be done? When is it gonna be done? But now I know when they're driving past, they see how it's lit up and how it sits there. It's it's a nice building. I think it's great for the kids. I great. think it's great for the yes. community and. Mm -hmm. Uh, certainly should, should help all of our athletic teams yes, at, at McLean. So, mm -hmm. so we get ready to go to, uh, and you get to host uh, get to the, the yeah. first round of the 77th wow. Grady Skiller in yeah. All City. <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, I played in it 50 years ago. Wow. You know, Man. it was really neat. And where they play it uh, at? Skelly Stadium. Skelly Stadium. Oh, wow. Yeah, before yeah. it became Chapman That's Stadium. Mm -hmm. but, so what do you look for in the All City? What do you want to try to achieve? Um, obviously, you want to win. You know, it's two quarters of football, um, but I want to see what the guys can do. It's the first time, you know, you go through spring, you go through, we're going through practice now, getting everybody eligible and haven't had a chance to go full contact, you know, because it's still in those processes. But mm -hmm. you get to see guys play. You get to see guys go full speed, younger guys. Um, like I said, obviously you want to win, but also I want to see, you know, 
the guys that didn't get to play last year, okay, here's your chance. Let's go. You know, if we get up a few touchdowns or something early, let's go. You know, uh, let's get the young guys in. Let's get everyone that feel. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the, the feel of um, game speed. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few rule changes. Um, well, one in particular that I'm excited. I want to see how it develops into high school football now. I mean, I'll go into it, but it's the – there's only five men on line of scrimmage, I think, that I've seen. And I don't, I'm, I'm going to test a ref, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in that game to see, okay, how's this going to go? Because I did see that rule that there's, they're only looking at five on the line of scrimmage now. Mm -hmm. And, okay, I'm going to test this, see if I get a penalty. Yep. Let's see if, if they're telling my kids to back up, you know, because through the spring I read the, the, the new rule change. I'm telling my receivers, just get lined up. Right. You don't have to check now. Yeah, but now check. it's big on my tackles. Right. You have to be, you know, get lined up correctly. So. With, with that rule change, what, what do you think about the, the 40, 25 second change? I like it. I like it. it you know, it gives, um, especially with, with my team. And I'm going with it, you know, I can't speak for no one else, but I think that um, it helps me control the game a little bit more. Right. Don't right. have to rush so much, you know, yeah. and um, it gives you a chance to um, get things in order. And, Absolutely. you know, and some, some teams like to play fast. You know, that's yeah. not going to affect them. You know, oh, that, yeah. regardless yeah. if it's 40, 50 seconds, they're gonna, they want to get that thing snapped. They're, they're going to play fast, you, you know. So, uh, well, I tell you what, we're looking forward yeah. to Titan football this yes. year. And mm -hmm. uh, good luck yes, in the All-City in your regular season. Yes, sir. And when we come back, we'll have Parker Childress, the head football coach at Will Rogers High School. How was school today? Mrs. Smith, what are you doing? Recycling. You can't put plastic bags in the blue recycling cart. But you can recycle this milk jug. You can recycle stuff from all over the house. You can recycle this empty box. What about these hangers? Just aluminum and steel can. Paper and cardboard. Plastic bottles and jugs. Glass bottles and jugs. To learn more, check out TulsaRecycles.com. Welcome back to Inside Tulsa Athletics, and now we have the new head football coach at Will Rogers High School, Parker Childers. Parker, welcome to Inside Tulsa Athletics. Thanks for having me. Well, I tell you what, this is your first year to be a head coach uh, at the varsity level. Uh, you didn't have the luxury of having spring because of the late hire. Yeah. Uh, so talk to us about uh, how summer workouts went and then how your preseason is going now. Um, I was very fortunate. One day I drove up to, to Rogers and um, one of the central coaches was up there working with one of his, one of his uh, players or one of his kids and he was talking about how they had a seven on seven league set up. And so he actually invited me and some of my players out there to do that. So I got, I got very lucky and kind of fell into a good situation. So we got a couple seven on sevens done this summer. Uh, a lot of weightlifting, a lot of team building, trying to rebuild that team, trying to build some morale up, you know. Mm -hmm couple losing seasons in a row kind of lowers the esteem of your team. So uh, we've been working pretty hard on, on team building, family building. Um, weight lifting's a big deal. I got a weirder offense than these kids are used to. I call all the plays from the sideline. Everyone's got to know my signals. Um, so that's been kind of a learning curve. But I've seen a lot of improvement in the past two weeks. Big, big improvements with my players and uh, really excited to get going with, with games this year. That's good. Well, you know, we've had uh our four, four days of non, no pads, yeah. and so you got to put them on uh, on Friday. Oh, or padding up. Yeah, that'll be that'll be yeah. exciting. And of course, uh, when people see this show, it'll be next Wednesday, and uh, it'll be exciting because we'll start the All City the next week. But uh, talk about uh, your transition. Uh, you were at Throw, yep, uh, and now you're at Rogers. How, how has that worked? It's been smoother than I thought. I was anticipating a, a, a very big learning curve. Um, and my offense, we've had to change a couple things and make things more higher level. Uh, routes have to be a little bit deeper. You got faster kids. You can't mm -hmm. throw a five-yard route when they take two steps and it's five yards. So, um, like I said, it's been it's been easier than I thought. The, the the hardest part is the kids are closer to my age now again. So I got to kind of earn that respect from the kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. dealing with the school under construction has been the, the biggest challenge. You know, I've I had I had two locker rooms for a yeah. while. I had my locker room under construction. I had the locker room in the gym. So Ms. Markwart over at Rogers has really helped me out all summer long with being very flexible, moving weights for me and everything. So it's been fun. Uh, you know, she does, Crystal does a good job uh, as the director of athletics over there. And, uh, so there's exciting times ahead yeah. for Will Rogers High Definitely. School. Let's talk about that, uh, that stadium. 
Yeah, it's, it's officially, it got approved through, and it's, I think they're going to break ground in, in September, I believe. Yep. And uh, work on that and get it, get it ready for not next year, but the year after that. But we'll have access to it, and it's going to be a, a phenomenal facility. It's going to be beautiful. That'll be uh, the combination. Uh, I can remember uh, when uh, one of our illustrious alum, of which I am one as well, but uh, Dave Rader, uh, when we put him into the uh, TPS Athletics Hall of Fame, at the end of his acceptance speech, he said, there will be a stadium wow. at Will Rogers. Well, he had good foresight. It, ca it came to fruition. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, former Superintendent Dr. Ballard, when we put that on uh, the, the bond issue, it was very important in mm -hmm. 15 uh, that we improve our athletic facilities. And that will be a tremendous it's caveat. Be amazing. Uh, oh, yeah. I think for the neighborhood even. Oh, uh, yes. It's going to be great for that neighborhood. Well, and they're matching the architectural style, yeah, which, is, which is beautiful. It's yeah. a beautiful campus. So. Well, let's talk about some of your kids. All right. Who, who are your leaders and uh, who, who are going to okay. be the difference makers for you? I, I have... Uh, some really, I have a really good class of seniors. I really do. Um, Micah Fields is my strong side defensive end. He actually won a Vipe All City uh, award earlier oh, yeah. this summer. So, getting him going, getting him some pride with him. Backer Jamison McRae, another senior, excellent player. Plays left tackle for me too. So he, he's a he's a grinder. He's a good mm -hmm. guy. Um, my quarterback. No one really knows who he is because uh, he, he didn't play actually last year very much. He got hurt early on. But I've been working with him all summer and I've seen him major improvements with his throwing mechanism because we're a passing team so mm -hmm. uh he looks he looks good um what's his name his name is sorry uh, he goes by gator gator kosar gator there gator. you go yeah right. he, he's a leader on our team so rogers too. does not have a quarterback controversy no we do not <laughs> nope i got i got one senior that that's my quarterback i have a sophomore as my backup that's sure. he's my future kid he, i worked with him at thoreau yeah. he's a good guy mccurick dimry is his name um, my two corners, I got some stud safety or stud senior corners, uh, Kenneth Shaw on one side and Jordan Guest on the other side. He's mm -hmm. a transfer from Langston since they had to close down. Mm -hmm. So I got, mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough for him to fall in my lap there. Sure. So we're actually, I think we're going to be kind of surprising this year. I, th well, I think we might good. surprise some people. Who do you think uh, in your district is a team to beat? The team to beat would be definitely Collinsville. I mean, that's the, they're the, the best team in that division, probably top three team in the state every year. Claremore mm -hmm. is another pretty tough team. Um, I think we can find ourselves equal with, with the uh, East Centrals or the, or the uh, Tahlequahs of that, mm -hmm. of that division and maybe in a couple years sneak in and be a playoff team. Good. I would love to make the playoffs this year. That would, oh, yeah. that would be a, that's a goal, of course, a, well, sure. a high goal. But you know, we'll see what happens. We'll see what that happens. That sounds good. The uh, uh, All City comes up, and uh, you're playing there with uh, uh, McLean, Webster, and East Central. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to accomplish uh, in that All City? Well, it's really important for me to see my offense because, like I said, it's kind of complicated. It's, right. it's new, and we've been installing it for more than a couple days. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to see them be able to read what I'm saying and, and show me on the field that they know the concepts, they know the stuff. Be so able to do it. That's Excellent. my big thing. Well, good. Well, good luck uh, in the All City and in this season. Thank you. And uh, after these messages, we'll have Tony Daniels, the head football coach at Tulsa Edison. Stuff. When you don't want it, what do you do with it? Go to TulsaRefuse.org. There, you'll learn what to do with stuff you don't know what to do with. Just give us a click. TulsaRefuse.org. It's what you do when you don't know what to do with stuff. My dad's always saying a little extra effort now will really pay off later. Here's how you can put in just a little extra effort and help out our schools in a big way. Just switch your checking account to TTCU. It's easy, and every time you use your school pride card, TTCU donates to our schools. So far, over a million dollars. They're the only ones doing that. So make the switch to TTCU and be the person who's making a difference for our schools. Are you suffering from stuff? Stuff you don't know how to get rid of. Go to TulsaRefuse.org. Learn how to get rid of stuff easily and properly. TulsaRefuse.org. Just give us a click. It's that simple. Welcome back to Inside Tulsa Athletics. And now we have with us the head football coach of the Edison Eagles, Tony Daniels. 
Tony, welcome to Inside Tulsa Athletics. Thank you. You had a, a great spring practice, and uh, you, now you're into uh, your preseason practice. Uh, talk a little bit about where you were in the spring and where you are now and where you want to be uh, maybe eight weeks or nine weeks from now. Well, of course, in, in the spring, a lot of teaching, a lot of fundamentals and, and tackling and uh, – Really, really emphasizing the uh, the shoulder tackling. I mean, it's something that I've even taught my two boys that are young, uh, that are 12 and, and nine years old, on on how to hawk tackle. You know, a couple mm -hmm. years ago when when Pete Carroll and all of them had started introducing that first, and then they started getting into the shoulder tackling and kind of changing the name of it and everything. So, a lot of fundamentals and a lot of coming to balance with kids and just making sure they're in the right step and the right near foot and doing everything that they're supposed to, both offense and defense. And I, I think that it, it's really big in the springtime, just everybody's getting reps. We're working fundamentals for everybody. As we progress to where we are right now, um, you know, we kind of say separation Friday. I mean, you know, Friday we get full pads and uh, kids are excited about it and they're ready to, to strap it up. But at the same time, we're still teaching the stuff that we taught back in the spring, trying to get everybody um, physically ready and also mentally, especially with the heat that we have. I think that's one of the things that people don't realize is the teaching the, the little techniques uh, are so important. Uh, you know, because if you don't start out right, you're not going to end up right. Right. <laughs> that's one of the things we always used to tell our players. He said, "We got to we got to line up properly. You got to know how to line up, and you got to know what step to take and and what you're going to execute." So uh, you you go into uh, your your fall practice. Um, you have a, a tremendous returning player and a, and a good cast around him. Uh, talk a little bit about your team. So, uh, Savion Morrison, uh, starting running back, has started for us the last three years. He's uh, up to 21 offers, got a phone call from Wisconsin yesterday. They're about mm -hmm. to throw their name in the hat. Um, and they're going to, I, I think, you know, not just Savion, but the other guys that we have around him. Um, we've got a couple of guys that started for us at offensive line last year. Um, Whitney Aslin, who's uh, coming back from a couple year starter for us. Um, but we have 27 um, going to be seniors. Mm. And with that class, it's my highest I've ever had. And uh, I think any time that you have that group that has played with you from ninth yeah. grade year all the way up, um, good, thing, good things can happen as long as you keep those kids in, in the right um, – uh, in the right stages, you you work on the culture. You you know you've really been building into it. They've been there now for for going on to four years, so completed three years. And it's not us having to holler at the kids and and trying to get them to get after it. You know we're out there today, and we have 25 of those seniors that uh, that are out pushing everybody else, and they're trying to get, you know they're they're wanting to win game one. They want to go out. They want to compete. They want to. Um, go out win district game one. You know they want to go get a district championship, and we were close last year. So mm -hmm. you know they're feeding a lot into that from last year and building upon it for this. Well, year. I think when you have that many seniors back, they have so much invested in the program that that three years that they've been there and and believing the philosophy that you espouse to and everything. I think is is really important. So you have Savion and. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, what, what are some of the core your linemen? You got some. Yeah, you've had some good linemen in the past. Yes. So we have uh, Whitney Aslin um, that I talked about. He has uh, four offers right now, and um, he plays on the offensive line. We also have Torn Walker. He's up to uh, four Division two offers. Mm. Um, he'll be coming back. He'll be a three-year starter. Um, we also have um, Trey Richards. Um, or Xavier, he's got about four different nicknames, so it just depends on what um, his personality for the personality day. Personality for the day, yeah. <laughs> yeah. XT or whatever it may yeah. be, but just a, a great kid. Um, and then um, we also have a, a younger running back that's picking up a lot of uh, steam right now, Gerard Thompson, um, who's doing really who's doing really well in um, in fall camp. So excited to see him come in and, and fit in where he can get in um, whenever Savion's not in there. Mm -hmm. um, so and then Wyatt Ellis is a is going to be a four year starter. He started as a freshman playing tight end, and um, he's up to uh, he has an offer um, that is out there. So I mean we have six kids that have offers right now, um, and it's just buying into what we're doing and what we're selling. And mm -hmm. I think the kids are just doing a fantastic uh, fantastic job of well, that's great. Buying in. So uh, the the one thing we look at uh, here pretty quickly is the seventy seventh Grady Skillerin All City Preview and. Uh, you lead off there uh, with uh, with Nathan Hale. 
Yeah. Um, you know, it's with it being a year closer, or excuse me, not a year, uh, being a week, um, you know, there are a lot of things that, that you need to tie in and try and, and, and get ready because not only are you just going out there and it, it's, it's a, it's, uh, a scrimmage, but also at the same time, you're competing against other, you know, other teams. Absolutely. Um, and that is a goal. I mean, you always want to go in there and you want to try and compete and you want to go win. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we had a chance last year to go do it. And then the weather kind of took that yes, out. Yes, it did. And uh, East Central and I would have, we, we would have been in the, uh, the finals. So, you, um, you know, this year with, with everything, the way that it's panning out and, and what we're doing, I, we just got to get in there and go after it and go compete and get better. That'll be great. Well, good luck Thank you. for this season and uh, with Savion and, and, and your players. Thank you. Uh, stay with us. We're going to be back with Kip Shaw, the head football coach at Central High School. How was school today? Mrs. Smith, what are you doing? Recycling. You can't put plastic bags in the blue recycling cart, but you can recycle this milk jug. You can recycle stuff from all over the house. You can recycle this empty box. What about these hangers? Just aluminum and steel cans, paper and cardboard, plastic bottles and jugs, glass bottles and jugs. To learn more, check out TulsaRecycles.com. Welcome back to Inside Tulsa Athletics. We have with us now the head football coach at Central High School, Kip Shaw. Kip, welcome to Inside Tulsa Athletics. Thank you for having me. Well, Coach, uh, it's always an exciting time of the year to get started with the uh, preseason practice and everything. But how are things going in the spring for the Central Braves? We had a really good spring. Uh, got some guys that gained a lot of experience, a lot of great work, uh, a lot of good teaching by my coaches. Um, you know, and that kind of took us into summer and seven on seven and those things. And you could see some of those kids, the light came on and said, hey, if, you know, I got coached to do this and mm -hmm. then kind of go out there and do it and have some success, you could see them really get excited. That's great. How, how did the seven on seven go? Seven on seven was great. We we went out to Lincoln Christian, had a great time. We also had it at our place with uh, McLean and uh, Hale. Had really good work. You know, kids all know each other, so the competition's really oh, great yeah. when TPS kids get against other TPS kids. They're all friends and all that. So, it, you know, it was really great time. Really big success for us, and we had a you know we had a good summer. Don't really we? good. Well, that's great. Okay, so you had the spring and you had your seven on seven in your summer program. And now we're into fall practice. How's fall practice going? It's been great. Um, you can see that the, our kids are starting to buy in. And we've had three really, really good practices. Guys have, have came back in good shape, worked hard this summer in summer pride. And you can see the strength. Some of them still don't know how to handle the, the muscle and the strength they got. Mm -hmm. So when they make, you know, when they run around out there, they're still kind of stumbling around. But you can really see the light come on and see the success. You know, we, we've got a great quarterback in KT Owens who's going to be special. We've well, got two great running backs. Jewel Hamilton is doing a great job. Um, Samuel Punchy Wilson on defense. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, I'm looking for these guys to, to make things happen for us. That'd be great. So as you uh, look at your, uh, your district schedule, uh, who's the team to beat? Our district's pretty tough. You know, you have the Broken Bows and you have the Podos. Uh, Hilldale's always tough. I kind of look at them as they're kind of on the top of the mountain. That's who we got to knock off. Uh, if we play well, if we play the way I think we've practiced and do, we should have some great success. You know, sometimes that doesn't translate into wins. But like I tell the kids, you can't worry about winning and losing. You can only control your effort and what you do. You go out there and give everything you got and it'll take care of itself. But you know, we, we play in a really tough district with some great competition from top to bottom. Uh, so hopefully we've done what we need to do this summer to be successful. That'd be great. Well, we got uh, the 77th greatest scholar in all city. My goodness, it's uh, it's amazing. I told somebody earlier on the show that uh, I played in it 50 years ago. I mean, it's still going. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the longest running. Uh, so you look at it, and it can be a two-day deal. Sometimes it's a one-day deal. depends. You, but you at least get a game in the first day. What do you want to accomplish in the All-City from a coaching standpoint? Well, you want to get through it. and uh, One, you want to come out of it healthy, as always. But for, for us, I want our kids to see how much they've grown and have some success and, and go out there and compete. You know, it's, it's a great time. We get to go out there against other Tulsa public schools. Like I said before, those kids all know each other and they're able to go out there. And again, you're competing for a championship. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about is, is winning with this. And 
And that's what I want my kids to focus on. You go out there and you do your best and, and compete and show just how good you've become. Mm -hmm. Well, you're, you're paired with the Edison Memorial and Ale. Uh, that's three 5A schools, you know, that's, <laughs> that's going to be a little tougher, you know, but uh, playing up in that competition uh, should help you. It, it really does. It, it kind of shows you where, it, where you're at. Those are three good schools with three really good coaches who are going to have their their teams prepared. Um, it kind of is, is a measuring stick, you know, mm -hmm. and then this will be the first year since I've been here that we played zero weeks, so we go right into playing. You know, so we're going to know uh, in all city kind of where we're at, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, yeah. Who do you open with? We open with Oklahoma City, U.S. Grant. Oh, yeah. Okay. That will be a good game. It will. It will. We're excited. The kids are excited about going down there and playing. If it's somebody different that, you know, they haven't heard of and haven't sure. seen. So it, it, it's an exciting time. Going to the city. Going to the city. <laughs> yeah, you right. said the city. You bet. <laughs> so that's good. Well, as you look at, uh, as you look at uh, things at Central, how, how overall, uh, how do you feel about the Central Athletic Program? Great. Uh, you know, we, we, we had a big loss last year with Coach Al Taffer. Um, Coach Brown's right. done a wonderful job. You know, he he stepped in and, and did his best to fill that void, and he has hit the ground running trying to, you know, like is anything, like our principal there trying to change the culture, he's trying to change the culture of athletics. You know, that's our big thing there is, is putting Central on the map, and I, I'm excited about what's happening at Central, especially in the athletic department. Well, Eli's done a great job. I, I told him he was the AD of the year in uh, TPS last year in a very difficult situation and following Tammy. And, of course, Tammy's a great loss to, to TPS, uh, but, uh, and, and specifically to, to Central. But uh, I'm sure that uh, with the coaching staff we have over there, I think I'm really excited about the coaching staff we have. Uh, I'm excited about the, the upgrade in our facilities that we have had over the last two or three years. And uh, I know in the, in the future we'll have a big announcement sometime in the next <laughs> week or so uh, that's going to be a game changer for Central Athletics. And, Absolutely. And we're, Absolutely. Really, we're excited about that. Well, Coach, thanks for coming and good luck for this season. And uh, when we come back, we'll come back with uh, Brian Jones, the head football coach at Hale High School. Stuff. When you don't want it, what do you do with it? Go to TulsaRefuse.org. There, you'll learn what to do with stuff you don't know what to do with. Just give us a click. TulsaRefuse.org. It's what you do when you don't know what to do with stuff. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat, write, or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. Yeah. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. No? Are you suffering from stuff? Stuff you don't know how to get rid of. Go to TulsaRefuse.org. Learn how to get rid of stuff easily and properly. TulsaRefuse.org. Just give us a click. It's that simple. Welcome back to Inside Tulsa Athletics. We have now the head football coach, Nathan Hale Rangers, Brian Jones. Brian, welcome to the show. Thank you, Gary. How's uh, preseason practice going? Uh, preseason practice for us is going pretty good so far. I'm trying to get some of the younger guys that's been coming over the summer to buy in uh, a little bit more. Uh, it's very different from middle school, obviously, for those guys not having a a, a, um, a, a summer or a spring or whatever that you know, whatever you want to call that. Mm -hmm. So it's a little bit different for these guys, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty good. What did you learn uh, through spring practice uh, about your football team? I learned a whole lot. Um, last year we were still, you know, uh, I tell them you're only as good as the last quarter that you played. Um, so going through the spring and getting into team camp and things of that nature, it was more about finishing, you know, learning how to finish practice properly, learn, learning how to, you know, finish plays and not give up until, you know, the end of the whistle. Um, I learned that, that we could 
um, fight, you know, as a, together as a team because, you know, last year we sort of had a lot of uh, individuality, so to mm -hmm. speak. So now it's more of a, a, a team focus and a team concept. So I learned that uh, they can come together at the end of the day. That's great. I, and that's, that's a good thing for spring because they come into the summer, summer workouts, your pride program, and then as you go into uh, preseason practice, right. that carries over and those guys are, uh, you know, they're together and they understand now. Uh, and I think the level of commitment is always the toughest thing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you're changing the culture like you're trying to do there, it's it's difficult for to get to that level. You know? It is very difficult. Um, go ahead. But what? Uh, so through the early practice, uh, uh, who's some of the players that you think are going to be good contributors for you? Oh, wow, we can name a few. Uh, that senior class is really big. Being that we only lost six seniors last year um, out of a group, I want to say somewhere between 35, 40. So now I think we're up to about 43. Um, you can say D'Angelo Washington, um, very special individual. Um, Andre Buck tries pretty, pretty special as well. He will be a, a junior, D'Angelo Washington being a senior this year. Um, Rico Parker, he's, he's pretty good as well. Um, Christian Lee, Keanu Lee. Um, Darnell Ford is pretty good. And then uh, uh, we have a running back that didn't play last year, but he's, he's pretty good as well, uh, Kobe Grogan. And, um, a couple of track guys decided to come out, and for whatever reason, they're natural at the uh, defensive back position. I want to say um, Isaiah Knight and then um, James Lane also, they're, they're pretty good as well. So a um, couple of names to look forward to, and, and, and I, I mentioned these guys because they lead by example, you know what I mean? Um, and they actually, they compete every single day. And, uh, you know, you, you want those guys that don't take plays off. I mean, it's kind of hard to say they don't, uh, being, being in high school. But for the most part, these guys, they get out there and they try to get it done every single day so That's far. That's fantastic. Spring, so. That's good. Uh, as you look uh, down the road at your schedule, uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, our schedule. Um, you know, you got a few highlights uh, on, on the schedule, teams that you really want to get after being, you know, we didn't we didn't take care of our business last year, but I would say East Central being a rival, um, we like that game. I want to move on, move forward with uh, Edison as well being in the district game and, and Bishop Kelly as well. Um, I like our chances more so this year than I did last year. Um, last year was a little bit tough. We missed the spring. We didn't have a um, a summer prize, so to speak. We didn't get to go to seven on seven like most of the guys. This year we had to um, we got the advantage to. Um, go to all these things and try to take advantage of all those things, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And uh, looking at our schedule this year, we should be fine. We, should, we shouldn't be at the bottom this year. Well, that'll be good. So, yeah, that'll be absolutely. good for Nathan Hale. Uh, let's talk about the All-City a little bit. Uh, you, uh, you play Edison right off the bat in the All-City. You do. You play Edison first, and then you got to see him again, I think, game six. So uh, this, uh, this will be our uh, coming out party, so to speak. Uh, last year it was, you know, um, we weren't sound, I guess, in that regard. Um, Moving forward, we should be a lot, lot more um, sound in terms of uh, football. So we should be fine going to see Edison. Game you one. know, uh, we uh, reformatted the the All City, where we go in pods of you know of uh, three and so on and so forth. And right. You have to qualify from a coaching standpoint. Uh, what do you want to get out of the All City? What is, What is your goal? My number one goal out of All City is to make sure. Um, my twos can play. I'm not not so much worried about my ones, and I tell my ones all the time, you are only as good as the person backing you up. So um, if your twos aren't as good or they're you know less knowledgeable than your ones, then you, you sort of have a problem because it's hard to plug guys in and out, especially if they have no clue what's going on. So my number one goal, obviously, is to make sure ones, we're pretty uh, solid at ones, but my twos for sure have an idea of what's going on when they get a chance to get in the game. You know, that's uh, <clears throat> I think one of the biggest things that people – uh, really don't realize, and I was fortunate to go through that uh, the years we spent at Union when we went from uh, 5A to 6A. Right. Uh, you know, when, you, when you're in 5A, you lose a quarterback or you lose a, a good running back and you're in trouble. Absolutely. You know, in 6A, you just plug another one in another because one in. you have the numbers and everything to, to do that. And so I think uh, that's a great point uh, is to bring those twos along so that if you do, because you're going to have injuries. Oh, yeah, it happens. Absolutely. Those things are going to happen, and those kids have to have the confidence when they get in the game that they know what to do. Right. I mean, that, that's the thing. Well, we certainly are happy for uh, Nathan Hale this year. I think they're going to be much, much better. And, oh, absolutely. Uh, under your tutelage, and uh, we wish you uh, great success, uh, first of all, in the All-City, and then as you get into the season and, uh, uh, you know, those uh, Hale Rangers, it'll be great time for uh, them to break out this year in uh, uh, 2019.
Absolutely. Uh, we'll be right back, uh, and thanks for being here. We'll be right back with Brian Morrell, the head ba football coach at Memorial High School. How was school today? Mrs. Smith, what are you doing? Recycling. You can't put plastic bags in the blue recycling cart, but you can recycle this milk jug. You can recycle stuff from all over the house. You can recycle this empty box. What about these hangers? Just aluminum and steel cans, paper and cardboard, plastic bottles and jugs, glass bottles and jugs. To learn more, check out TulsaRecycles.com. Welcome back to Inside Tulsa Athletics. And now we have the head football coach from Memorial High School, Brian Morrell. Brian, welcome to Inside Tulsa Athletics. Thanks for having me. Glad well, to be I'll here. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, can't wait for this season to get started. Uh, you know, it's always a great time of the year. Yes, sir. School starts, football starts, and it just seems like it's, it's the right time. Um, Memorial Chargers, what type of spring did you have with them? Uh, we had a pretty good spring. Uh, our numbers were up a little bit from the last time. We had some kids in uh, that got to get some reps, and, and we had some kids kind of uh, step up and show us some things that were impressive. Uh, so we found some guys that we think we can put in some spots that will really help us throughout the season. That's fantastic. So you build on that. You have a summer workout program. Yes, sir. You play seven on seven. Yes, sir. Like everybody else does. Yep. <laughs> you know? And now we're uh, in preseason practice, and with school starting next week, and the All City next week. Uh, where are you with your preseason practice? Uh, right now, you know, we've been we've been practicing every morning this week. Uh, we've had even we had more turnout this week. We've had quite a few guys showing up, which is great. You know, we always need the numbers. Um, and once again, we've had some really uh, good kids show us some things this this uh, week during practices. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing what they can do for us. Um, the real good thing is, is I've got a I've got a real good core group of kids, like just overall, that have really come together over the summer, like just through the workout, seven on sevens, and uh, they're really just doing a really good job and real cohesive. And and it's been it's been a really sweet sight to see. You know, we've been we've been excited seeing this whole thing develop. And, uh, you know, we're looking looking pretty good right now. So you have those leaders that are emerging? I do. We've got several leaders emerging. A couple of my seniors, two or three of my seniors have stepped up, and uh, they're really kind of taking these younger guys under their wings and uh, doing a really good job in regards to just getting those kids there, holding them accountable, you know, helping each other out. You know, like when some of the guys are in and the other guys are, like, you know, waiting to get in, like on a rep or whatever, they're coaching them up, talking mm -hmm. them up. It's been a real great thing. We, we've really enjoyed it. Well, who are some of your key players that can, can set this tone for your, for your season? Uh, so we've got a, a running back, Barry Jamerson. He's, he's, a, he's a new guy, but he's looking really good for us. Um, he's, he's actually shown us some pretty good things, you know, not just in spring, but this summer as well. Uh, I've got a couple of, couple of my linemen guys are, are back. Um, I lost a lot, but I've got a couple of guys. Uh, Alex Juarez is going to be one of my guys who's returning starter on the mm -hmm. line. Uh, he'll be moving over to center for us this year. Uh, then we've got, and then I've got a pretty good number, just a, a bunch of kids, you know, skilled kids that are, you know, still kind of showing me things like what they can do and where they and where they can play for us. And uh, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. So we got a quarterback. We have a quarterback. We've got a. We've got. You know, we went from we went from two, and we've got four. So that's a good thing. So hopefully, uh, and a couple of them are younger guys. So we're hoping we can build something with those those guys and develop these guys. Because you know, we you know, in the past we've always had the, the situation where a uh, you know we get these quarterbacks when they're juniors or seniors, and we don't get a full amount of time with them to really sure. work with them and and see what they can do for us. So that's an exciting thing for us as well. We got you know, so we got a couple of young guys, and then uh, Josh McDill, who was a he's going to be a sophomore. Um, he got a little time last year as a freshman. He's a pretty good little player for us, and he's he's kind of the front runner right mm -hmm. now for the for the uh, QB spot. And he's doing so a really good job. So the Memorial Chargers have a quarterback controversy. We do, like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, we <laughs> do. Like yes, sir. Everybody in the yes, state sir. of Oklahoma doesn't know who their quarterback yeah, is. Yeah, you know? that's uh, that's us too. <laughs> well, that's good. That's the competition is always good. Always, you know, around that. So as you get ready to uh, go into uh, this uh, All City preview. Uh, what do you want to accomplish when you get into that two-day tournament? So the the biggest thing for us is we really, you know, we enjoy the the all city in regards to we get you know we get the reps to get the kids reps, you know, um, and and of course we all all of us coaches want to come out healthy, you know what I mean? That's sure. that's that's the I think that's the ultimate goal. But of course we want to go out there and do our best to to perform and, and get the reps and and do our best to win and just come out healthy. Man, that's kind of our that's you kind bet. of where we look at the all city. Well, you so. know, and that's uh, that, that's one of those things. Uh, you know, you'll be uh, you get to play at your home field. Yes, sir. The, We're hosting this year, so that's, uh, that's kind of neat. And uh, you'll get to play your Southside rival too. Yes, sir. 
The, so how how does that work if you play them in the all city and then you turn around <laughs> in week two and turn play play again? Uh, well, it's you know it just depending upon how it plays out in the all city. You know, it's always interesting to see, and then and then of course you know come week two every year Midtown Classic and get out there and get oh, after yeah. it and, and see what happens. Uh, who's uh, who's the team to beat in your district? Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm really thinking, I, I mean, I think those top three teams right now in our district are probably going to be Collinsville, Claremore, and uh, Tahlequah. They're all three looking really pretty good, pretty solid teams, pretty solid programs. Um, I think it's kind of a toss-up between any of those three teams. And then, you know, all the rest of us, you know, I think we could wake, make our well, way know, in there somehow, some way. I was talking to Barry Lewis uh, a couple of weeks ago, and we were talking about 5A could be an open. It could. I mean, who mm -hmm. in the world? Be, I there's not a dominant mm -hmm. 5A team mm -hmm. on this side of the state. Yeah. Now, them, you know, Carl Albert of course. <laughs> has been really tough on that side of the <laughs> yeah. state. But uh, on this side of the state, I think it's a wide open race. I agree. Yeah, that'd I agree. be great for our kids it and, would. and for our fans, I yeah, think, to, to be involved in that. Well, we certainly are glad that. Uh, that you're here, we're glad that football season is getting Me ready too. to start. Me too. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, you get our kids out there, and uh, and we want to encourage everyone to support uh, all of our high schools here in in uh, Tulsa. It's uh, a great time of the year when school starts and football starts, and we we start off with the uh, all city preview. So uh, be with us uh, in just a moment after these messages when uh, Kevin Gordon, who's the head coach at uh, East Central, will be with us. Stuff. When you don't want it, what do you do with it? Go to TulsaRefuse.org. There, you'll learn what to do with stuff you don't know what to do with. Just give us a click. TulsaRefuse.org. It's what you do when you don't know what to do with stuff. My dad's always saying a little extra effort now will really pay off later. Here's how you can put in just a little extra effort and help out our schools in a big way. Just switch your checking account to TTCU. It's easy. And every time you use your school pride card, TTCU donates to our schools. So far, over a million dollars. They're the only ones doing that. So make the switch to TTCU and be the person who's making a difference for our schools. Are you suffering from stuff? Stuff you don't know how to get rid of. Go to TulsaRefuse.org. Learn how to get rid of stuff easily and properly. TulsaRefuse.org. Just give us a click. It's that simple. Welcome back to Inside Tulsa Athletics. And now we have with us the head football coach, the East Central Cardinals, Kevin Gordon. Welcome to the show, Kevin. Thank you for having me here. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, exciting time of the year. Football it is. starts, school it starts. Is. It's uh, just kind of the, the combination of everything. Uh, you know, you, you start the next season in the off season and you get to spring practice. Mm -hmm. What did you get out of spring practice? Had a great spring. We have 42 kids on the roster. Um, Got a lot of teaching going on, uh, implemented uh, our offense in, got quite a bit of it already installed uh, defensively. Most of it was installed, and I'm, I'm excited. Kids are, um, I don't want to say walking around on cloud nine, but um, we just uh, had a great offseason. Uh, Coach Will Wabunsey took over as our uh, uh, strength and conditioning coach for us, mm -hmm. and uh, he brings a uh, collegiate background, uh, being at TU, uh, Michigan State, and uh, Wisconsin, so um, the kids were kind of looking at him a little like, hey, what? And then, you know, they, they bought in eventually, but they were like, man, hey, we're not, we're, this isn't Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. But I said, but you want to get to Ohio yeah, State, absolutely. so we need to work like it's Ohio State. But had a great, had a great spring and uh, went to team camp over at Rejoice Christian, and uh, that went really well. Um, proud of the kids. Uh, they uh, competed well. Um, you know, you, you got you, you saw some areas that you needed to address, mm -hmm. but that's why you go to things like that. So sure. you can see things like that. And then after team camp ended, we went uh, the whole um, seven on seven session mm -hmm. out at uh, Lincoln Christian. And uh, that's always good out there because you get to see a little bit of everything out at Lincoln Christian. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, you're going to have guys that are going to uh, spread you all over the place. And you have some that are going to bring it in. But uh, really, really great summer. And now it's time for fall camp. And we're going and we're excited. Here we go. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's around the corner. So how has fall practice been so far? Fall practice is going good. Like I said, we got 42 on the roster. Uh, kids are excited. Uh, they're, uh, you know, um, trying to, I don't want them to think about the heat, but, mm -hmm. you know, coach, it's kind of hot out there. But, you know, <laughs> we have uh, 
uh, precautions in place, sure. making sure they get plenty of water. And, you know, we, we don't do the traditional two a day practice like you, when I play, right. you know, like that. They don't, we don't do that because of ride issues with kids. So we, we have one big long practice and uh, we're going three to seven. And what we do is halfway in between, we bring them off, take them inside in the field house and we have um, bananas, apples. We give mm -hmm. them a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and get them off their feet. And then we also utilize that 45 minute to hour time to uh, have meetings, mm -hmm. which is a good thing because that allows us to go in there and have 15 minutes offensive meetings, 15 minutes of defensive meetings, and uh, it's putting that time to good use. Well, it's always teaching. Uh, mm -hmm. People forget about how much teaching is done in, That's in right. coaching these That's days. Right. And technique and the little things are That's so right. important uh, to the overall aspect of that. So uh, who are some of your difference makers? Well, we've got a we got a few kids. We got about seven seniors. Uh, uh, Darius Williamson is going to uh, he's our starting Sam linebacker. Had about 84 tackles last year. Mm. He's also uh, going to start a tailback for us as well. Um, we have a uh, big uh, defensive. Uh, well, I'm gonna say he he came to me as a uh, sophomore. He came and he's six four three three fifty at this time. He said uh, I play left tackle. <laughs> you know. When I looked up at him, I said, okay, yes, okay, you do. Right. <laughs> but uh, his name is Deterion Fields, and uh, he had a great summer, by the way. He, he tipped the scales at 368. Mm. He's down to 312 right now. Oh, and man, uh, he's moving, running well. But his know, feet are fast uh, now. Feet are great. Mm -hmm. um, the crazy thing about it with Deterion, we're watching him on, on power clean, um, on hang clean, and he's – 225 on there and he's doing mm -hmm. reps and he's just popping those feet and mm -hmm. you know knocking it out and you know he's looking good then he goes over on the plow boxes and he's hopping up on the big box Excellent. and I and I keep telling him I said that's that's a division one kid right there yep. it's your size doing what you're doing absolutely so uh him we have uh um, let's see, Sir Little John, that, uh, he played quarterback for us in the spring. We're also going to move him around, let him play a little wide receiver. He's going to play corner, Jabari Washington. We have a young man uh, who's going to be a junior. His name is David Turner. And uh, heck of an athlete. We'll start at safety for us. We'll play a little corner, also play wide out. I'm really proud of him. He is our, he's a leader, and mm -hmm. uh, he wants that role, and he leads the, the right way. Oh, that's great! That's fantastic. Well, and you, uh, uh, you got a leader back on your on your staff. Uh, came down to our office yesterday. Yes, Stavon. we did. It was great to see Stavon. Yeah. I tell you, I loved watching uh, that team play. It was my first uh, year back here, mm -hmm. and uh, what what a great team! And I don't care what anybody says; they were thirteen to one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about Most those definitely. Four, but, but, Most but, definitely. Uh, that's great to have a a role model like mm -hmm. that on your staff for your kids to look at. Well, we, you know, his nickname is Stan the Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Stan Vaughn's a great kid. Glad to have him back. And, and the beauty of having Stan, Stan with us is the fact that he's an East Central product. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he walked those same hallways. He, he sure took did. those same classes. Yeah. And kids can see he, this is what you can achieve. Went to the University right. of Oklahoma, Absolutely. played uh, five years up there, got his degree, got and it. now he's back in the building. But Stan Vaughn is not the only one. We also have added Kimmy Carson. Oh, yes. Went, he was off that same team, went to mm -hmm. New Mexico, played right. for Bob Davey, started right. for Bob Davey. He's in the building now. And then we have Damian Gibson that was uh, on the 11-12 right. team, and he's at the University of Tulsa. So well, That's great. That's you fantastic. Know. It's good to have good young coaches oh, yeah. there, oh, yeah. those kids to look at. Well, thank you for being here today, okay. and uh, when we come back, we'll have Ryan Boatwright, who is the new head coach at Webster High School. How was school today? Mrs. Smith, what are you doing? Recycling. You can't put plastic bags in the blue recycling cart, but you can recycle this milk jug. You can recycle stuff from all over the house. You can recycle this empty box. What about these hangers? Just aluminum and steel cans, paper and cardboard, plastic bottles and jugs, glass bottles and jugs. To learn more, check out TulsaRecycles.com. Welcome back to Inside Tulsa Athletics. And now we have with us the new head football coach at Daniel Webster High School, Ryan Boatwright. Ryan, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the head coaching ranks. Hey, it's, it's, a, it's a great blessing and I'm really excited. It's... Well, tell us a little bit about your, your football background. So um, I actually grew up... Um, here in Tulsa, I played football at Jinx under Alan Trimble, one of the greatest head coaches, in my opinion, in high school football. Uh, 
was blessed with a full ride scholarship to go to Missouri State, um, play some football up there for a while, and then I came back and decided I wanted to be, you know, a football and a coach, and that's, you know, kind of where it went from there. What did you major in? Uh... I majored in uh, sports administration. Mm -hmm. One day, uh, hopefully, um, kind of go to the AD direction. I you know, see. Fo following the footsteps of the great, you know, Gil Cloud. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, you know, it's kind of interesting the way I got into this. Uh, I had coached for seven years. Mm -hmm. I've been very, very fortunate. Uh, I was everywhere from a 2A high school to the Big 8 uh, in those seven years. I had the right place, right time, you know, those kind of things. And we, we wanted to move back to Tulsa. And uh, our, both our parents lived here. And uh, so uh, the union job came open. The union was tiny. Number 64 out of the top 64 schools mm -hmm. and everything. And... Uh, uh, they said that uh, uh, the AD's job's open, so I, I applied for the job. And I told my wife uh, when I got the job, I said, you know, I really love coaching. Uh, I'm going to do this one year, and if I don't like it, uh, I'm going to do something else. And that was 42 years ago. <laughs> so I guess I history. liked it. <laughs> you know, but, well, I, 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 I think you, you've chosen a, a great profession because uh, being in this, you have a, such a chance to affect so many kids. Yes. You know, when I was coaching, I had my team. Uh, but as a director, we've got 3,500 kids every day that expect us to do the best we can do. Mm -hmm. and, and we like that. Well, you're at Webster. Yep. Uh, you were here last year. Yes, sir. You were. And, uh, and uh, uh, as we went through the process to, to hire a new head coach, you emerged. Uh, uh, How is your preseason practice going? going really well um, we have a lot of youth on our team which is you know kind of a blessing and a curse you got a lot of learning and uh, growing up um, leadership wise mm -hmm. um, but we got a lot of excitement a lot of enthusiasm going into the season which is always great um, I'm really excited um, with this team we got this year we've been working really hard um, learning a lot about football a lot of these guys you know this is the first time ever strapping on the pads so it's a big learning experience but you know um, we got a lot of excitement on the coaching staff and a lot of excitement going um, with the students and it's just it's contagious and we're just trying to get it to you know uh, carry the momentum into season and um, hopefully have some success this year. Who are some of the uh, key players for you this year? Uh, this year we got two seniors that I'm really excited um, to see play. We got Dominique Wallace. Uh, he's going to be an outside threat for us. Real fast guy, real athletic, uh, super aggressive on defense. Really excited to have him on the team this year and a great leader. Uh, we also have Byron Cox on the line. Uh, he's going to be our big nasty up front, and uh, we got a really young line, so we're we're really counting on his leadership and his experience to kind of help us um, on the line. Um, we also have uh, Quentin Sewell. He's a he's a younger guy, um, but he's also a big nasty on the line. We we're really excited to have him and Byron Cox on the line this year. Uh, young wise, uh, we got. Uh, Micah H. He's an upcoming freshman for us, and he's gonna he's gonna be kind of like the next Dominic Wallace. He's mm -hmm. he's fast guy, strong, um, has a lot of potential, and we're really excited to see where he goes this year. So, what's your quarterback situation like? So we got a we got a, a three way battle for a quarterback. Which Doesn't a, everybody have a battle for a, quarterback? You got to battle it out. We got um, so we got Jeremiah Barnes, who has a very strong arm, and he's uh, very football savvy. Um, he's gonna be a junior this year. We're real excited for him. Um, he's currently our number one. Um, but a uh, close number two, they're going to be battling out during the preseason for the starting position. But we got Damari Davis at, um, he's going to be a freshman uh, quarterback for us. Real mm -hmm. smart, real good kid. We're really excited for the competition there. Well, that's good. It's good to have that competition day yes. to day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Makes them be a little bit, a little bit better every hey, day. If, you know, if you're worried for your job, you're going to try a little bit harder. Absolutely. So we're, we're excited for the competition. Well, let's talk about your schedule. Uh, we'll talk about the All-City in a minute, but your, your regular season schedule, what do you, what do you think about that? We, we got a really tough schedule this year, especially with the amount of youth that we um, have. We're going to be playing experienced teams like Ida Bell, Seminole, Lincoln Christian. Um, and I'm really excited to play those games because you learn so much from those games. Um, we're really going to have to dig deep and, you know, fight for four quarters. And I think with a young team, you need that because it's going to only help us going into the future, having those, you know, big battles under our belt. Um, real excited for the TPS schools we're going to be playing against because mm -hmm. a lot of the uh, kids have, you know, friends and brothers sure. and cousins or whatever playing for those teams. So we got a lot of excitement for the season. It's going to be a tough one, but we're ready for it. What's the, what's the one thing that you want to uh, achieve as you go into the All City that, uh, that two-day uh, extravaganza? So those, those two days are going to be really big for us because we have so much youth and so many freshmen playing. It's going to be really good to have a game-like situation, uh, 
under their belts before they go to season because, like I said, a lot of these guys have never played football before. So this is it's going to be a really good learning opportunity for us, and we're going to treat it as such. That's good. I think a lot of those kids will uh, get to see some of other the uh, Tulsa schools. And, oh, yeah. You know, there's eight eight schools in it, and uh, it'll be a it'll be a good deal. It's the 77th uh, Grady Skeller and uh, All City Preview, and I can tell you. I don't know what number I played in, but I played in one of them back in the day, and uh, it was quite an experience. Well, good luck this year, Ryan. We hope everything goes well for Daniel Webster, and uh, uh, we will be right back uh, to conclude our show and talk about the All-City Preview uh, after these messages. Stuff. When you don't want it, what do you do with it? Go to TulsaRefuse.org. There, you'll learn what to do with stuff you don't know what to do with. Just give us a click. TulsaRefuse.org. It's what you do when you don't know what to do with stuff. suffering from stuff? Stuff you don't know how to get rid of. Go to TulsaRefuse.org. Learn how to get rid of stuff easily and properly. TulsaRefuse.org. Just give us a click. It's that simple. Welcome back. We want to promo the All City Preview, so let's take a look at the actual schedule for the All City. Uh, on Thursday the 22nd at La Fortune Stadium, Edison and Hale and Memorial and Central will play the first two games, and then the two losers play at 8 o'clock, and the two winners play at 9 o'clock. At Driver Stadium on the same day, we've got the McLean Titans will play the Will Rogers Ropers, and Webster plays East Central. Again, the two losers play at 8, the two winners play at 9, and then for the championship on Friday night, which will be at the East Side Sports Complex at East Central, We'll have the winners and losers playing in the first game at 6 o'clock. The losers play at 7 o'clock, and then the championship game will be at 8 o'clock. This is the 77th annual Grady Skillerin preseason all-city football contest. It's outstanding play. You get to see eight of our nine high schools. Booker T has a scrimmage uh, because they are in 6A and the only 6A we have in the district. So we'll have all eight of our, our schools playing one another. Come out and support our All City, the 77th Annual. How was school today? Mrs. Smith, what are you doing? Recycling. You can't put plastic bags in the blue recycling cart, but you can recycle this milk jug. You can recycle stuff from all over the house. You can recycle this empty box. What about these hangers? Just aluminum and steel cans, paper and cardboard, plastic bottles and jugs, glass bottles and jugs. To learn more, check out TulsaRecycles.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed Inside Tulsa Athletics this week as we highlighted our high school football. We'll be back on September the 11th, and we'll be highlighting volleyball and, and softball at that time along with our cheer. Uh, varsity cheer has a competition with the OSSA this year, and so we'll have some of our cheerleading coaches on at that time. So... Tune in, go to the All City Preview, and we will see you on September the 11th.